All right. Thank you for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and hit subscribe uh, if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, if you like business intelligence, you like technology strategy, go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. So, all right, we got the housekeeping out of the way. Today, we're going to be talking about Pareto charts in Tableau. So your Pareto chart illustrates the 80-20 rule in that roughly 80% of your effects are going to come from 20% of your causes. And we're going to be using Tableau Superstore data, which is included in Tableau. So the first thing I want to do here is I want to grab sales. We're going to turn that up uh, here to rows. I'm going to grab state and we're going to place that here on the columns and I want that descending. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a quick table calculation running total and then I want to edit that table calc. I want that to be specific dimension on state. I'm going to add a secondary calculation for specific dimension on state and I want that to be percent of total. As you can see I get this nice pattern emerge uh, after making those changes. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to create a calculated field, a calculated measure, if you will. So we're going to call this percent of states. And that is going to be index divided by size. I'm going to say OK. And we're going to take that measure. We're going to drag it up to columns. Everything's going to go haywire, but it's OK. We're going to compute it using state. And I'm going to take state and I'm going to drag them over here to the uh, marks. And I want to change this to a line. We're going to do a little bit of formatting here. I want this to be a percent, uh, no decimal places. And I want to add a reference line that's going to be a constant at 0.2. And same thing here, we're going to add another reference line that's going to be a constant at 0.8. And as you can see, we've got a Pareto chart here. This is a basic Pareto chart. Um, if I followed along, by the time I get to uh, Arizona, shout out to Public Enemy, that's a Public Enemy song, by the time I get to Arizona, I am at 80.73% of sales in Arizona um, you know all the states up to Arizona represent 33 percent of states and you can also see the analysis here at Virginia I'm at roughly 70 percent of uh, total sales and Virginia represents 20 percent of my state so this is a perfectly fine Pareto chart but we're gonna take it to the next uh, level here we're gonna add a little bit more uh, information. So I'm going to grab the uh, sum of sales. We're going to bring that over here and we're going to go down here to sales. We're going to make it dual axis and I want to change this to a bar and I want to change this to a bar as well. And so, you know, we're going to have to play around with this. Just size it, size it up a, a little bit. Um, if you play with the sizes, you know, I want these to be very skinny, right? And I'm going to flip-flop these. See how I can't see the values when I get to New York and uh, California? I'm going to flip-flop these here so that gray can be seen. And, you know, this at this point, we're all about uh, formatting and, and sizing. Let's drag this out a little bit. And so, as you can see, now I have information. If I, if I look at New York, I can see that New York, and let's go ahead and make this a quick change uh, real quick. I want to um, format, we're going to make that dollars currency. Oh, let's make that, right. All right, so now if I come back here to New York, I can see that New York represents $310,000 in sales. And if I come down here, I got some extra information. Um, you know, again, New York is 33 point, New York and California represent 33.46% of sales. So there you go. There's your Pareto chart. Uh, very handy for analyses. Go ahead and take this and uh, get out there and do some good things with your data. Thank you for watching, everyone.